All right, folks, we're back again. Booster has been fried. So what was happening, guys, it was tripping the breaker. Um, and as you can see, the sides of these, it's a lot of heat. A lot, lot, lot of heat. That's why it's black there. You can, if you mess with these, you can feel the where it's pitted. That's going to be from the bleach sitting in it. Um, but I'll show you even in here. That one's actually not too bad. But these in general, compared to the previous failure, um, it was just tripping most of these. And actually, I probably will just replace all of them unless they look completely perfect. Um, the, the thing, too, once I've taken these off, by the way, um, and we'll find the other little piece that's probably tucked underneath one of these. We'll find it in a second. Um, make sure you have the set number that you had at the beginning. Make sure you have your set number from the, or sorry, at, well, we'll call that the beginning and the end, whatever. Um, here and your clip. Um, and then, again, we'll put this all back together. We'll use a little bit of the magic lube. Uh, get it put back together and um, cleaned up. Talk to the tech about it. Explain again, it is, this is 100% heat. This is not, this is it running too long or running without fluid in it. Um. You know, if it's having issues priming, you know, then we need to, to figure something out there. Um, but if you want to see, again, I'll just take these apart. We've got the uh, replacement pieces, which I believe are sitting over on the truck. I'll get those in just a second. Um, I do have this bucket of water. I'm going to rinse them all off. Um, yeah, you can just Look, that's coming right off of there without even budging the things. I mean, they're, they are, they're, they're fried in there. Um, I'll have to check the video. I want to say it's been about six months. Um, but the difference here, folks, again, is the last several months, it was just me using it. Yeah, I got to find that piece. It must have fallen down. Um, so it needs to be, again, taken care of better. Um, fortunately, again, with a booster pump, it is not a expensive repair to replace all these things they're like three bucks a piece um, compared to other pumps where the check valves could be thirty dollars each and you've got three of them or six of them or whatever i mean i could literally replace the entire thing um, for about 90 bucks all of this in here so um, we will also check the o-ring which that looks fine we'll clean out the threads here remember too folks with the booster pump it is reverse threaded um, so it's going to go <laughs> this way counterclockwise to tighten it um, when you're taking it off you really just need a, a little bit of torque to to loosen it and then from there you should be doing the rest of it by hand um, so that's pretty much it guys